Welcome to Ultras Unleashed. Today, we're excited to share with you a video on club badges that are so similar, they would fail a plagiarism check. Some of these badges are barely modified duplicates, and the designers certainly won't be winning any awards for their originality. However, these absurd logos are sure to bring a smile to your face. Now, let's kick things off by taking a look at the badge of an English League 2 club. This is the Crest of Walsall Football Club, a professional football club based in the West Midlands. The club is known as the Saddlers, as Walsall has a long history of saddle production. The logo features a Swift, which is a reference to the club's founding name, the Walsall Town Swifts. Despite never making it to the Premier League, Walsall's logo has apparently been copied by a North Korean team, called Jebi Sports Club. The Premier League team is affiliated with the North Korean Air Force, and it is likely that they chose the Swift as their logo to represent that. The Swift is a bird known for its quickness and agility, qualities that would be fitting for an Air Force team. How the team came across Walsall FC though, remains unclear. Next up is a team from the Norwegian top flight called Stabæk. The club, which has won the Norwegian Cup once since its founding in 1912, must have been either shocked or flattered to find out that their logo had made it across the border to neighboring country Sweden. Holmstad, which was founded two years later in 1914, has clearly taken inspiration from Stabæk's logo. In addition to copying the logo, Holmstad, a team that, just like Stabæk, fluctuates between the top two divisions, has also matched Stabæk's one cup victory. Moving on, we have Olympiakos, the most successful team in Greek football, with a total of 79 national trophies. This impressive record places them ninth in the world in terms of titles won by a football club. It's no surprise that many other Greek teams look to Olympiakos for inspiration, but one club may have taken their admiration a little too far. Meet Olympiakos Volos, a team that played in the top tier of Greek football until a match-fixing scandal resulted in their demotion. Their logo and kits were very similar to those of Olympiakos, which surely caused some confusion over the years. Going back to the Nordic countries, this is the crest of Norrköping, a team that competes in the top tier of Swedish football. The club is one of the most successful in Sweden and dominated the post-war era with players like Gunnar Nordahl and Nils Lidholm in their squad. Norrköping was founded in May 1897, and it's possible that a Finnish club founded five months later took a little trip over the border before designing their own crest. IFK Helsingfors, a team that competes in the highest tier of Finnish football, has a crest that bears a striking resemblance to that of Norrköping, and when both of these teams were playing in the 1962-63 edition of the European Cup, it would have been easy for opponents to confuse the two teams based solely on their logos. On the other side of the globe, Australian club Sydney FC recently changed their logo, but back in 2009, they were considering legal action against newly founded Norwegian club Sarpsborg, whose logo bore remarkable similarities to their own. Mirror it, swap the turrets for the Opera House, and boom, there you have it, the Sydney FC logo. The news eventually reached Sarpsborg, and the local newspaper wrote a story about it. The designer claimed he was unaware of Sydney FC, so Sarpsborg decided to take him at his word and stick with the logo. Fortunately, Sydney FC has changed their logo since then, so this is no longer an issue. Continuing on, we have the logo of English club Hall City. The former Prem side, nicknamed the Tigers because of their striped shirts in black and amber, clearly had a big admirer in Hungary. A third division side, whose name only a Hungarian would be able to pronounce, did this. By simply changing the colors and orientation of the Tiger, as well as the team's name, they had created a new team crest. That being said, in 2021 the Hungarian side went through a rebranding and chose this logo as their new one. So let's hope that this logo has not been stolen from anyone. Moving on, the next case is a little unlike the others. Nowadays English sides try to bring a little Brazilian football culture back to England. But in this example a Brazilian club borrowed from English football culture. The Nottingham Forest's logo is well known among football fans, but the Brazilian team Floresta, whose name translates to forest, may not be as familiar. Floresta plays in Brazil's third division and initially stole Nottingham Forest's logo before incorporating it into a new design. Finally, saving the best for last, we will take a look at the logos of English Premier League club AFC Bournemouth and Bangladesh Premier League club AFC Uthara. While Bournemouth may be the more well-known team and definitely would have the upper hand in a legal battle, 
AFC Uthorok actually has the advantage of higher attendance at their games. That's all we had for today. Please support us by leaving a like and subscribe if you want to see more interesting videos. Thank you for watching.